welcome to Drop Your Buffs, um, second episode of Survivor Talking Shins. Um, sorry this is a few days late, I was, um, you know, having fun in Amsterdam. I know, what a life, what a life. But, um, yeah, I watched the episode, I actually watched it before I left, but it was like 6 in the morning and I looked really awful and couldn't think, so I decided to put this off until today. Sorry, sorry. Um, but yeah, let's talk Survivor. Um, this week's episode was more getting into the swing of things, and there's, I think I liked it better than the last one, because you got to know a few more people, um, so I've kind of got an idea of who a few more of the people in the tribes are, so it's more exciting now, because I can see some interactions starting and everything, and, um, they're more into the swing of things, so it's like, you know, just like huge, so, um, first of all, um, let's talk about this um, hidden idol at um, the Timbira Beach because um, Sierra hadn't found it last episode and since Timbira hadn't gone to Tribal it was still up for grabs. Um, it was the idol, I wasn't sure last week, um, but the idol was only for the first Tribal of that camp so Sandy couldn't find her idol. It wasn't, it didn't, wouldn't have done anything for her. But um, Sierra's was still up for grabs so there's Sierra, you know, hanging out. She actually decides she needs help so she tells Brendan which I thought was a really interesting match. Um, it just they didn't seem like people who'd actually get along. But um, she she chose Brent to tell Brendan because he was the only person that hadn't voted for her um, in the unfortunate getting voted off but not really situation in the first episode. So I thought that was really interesting um, that she chose him to tell. And he seems like he could you know kind of be a big player this season. He's kind of he seems really nice and like he's less of a character. He's more chill, so he could fly under the radar. But um, they couldn't find it. Oh well. It was funny at one point they had this dug this ginorm hole, and Debbie's like, "Oh, what's that?" And they're like, "Oh, we're gonna have a beach fire." Debbie was so dumb. Like, I don't see her going very far just because she seems really dumb. But at the same time, because she's so dumb, she could go really far. Like, I just. I don't know, I wouldn't want to pull her along, because she, she doesn't seem that, like, special, but we don't really know Debbie yet, so, who knows, who knows, who knows. Um, so then, there was another tension that we saw in Timbir camp, that was between Cook and Candace, Candace being the former lawyer, which still boggles my mind that you would, I mean, obviously people don't always have to do what they started, but to go from lawyer to actress slash model is just a little confusing to me, but whatevs. And then Coach, who's, you know, super type A personality, in your face, all the time. They just bickered over cooking and stuff, but you could see that they didn't really like each other from the start. So, that was an interesting, um, revelation, if you will. Another interesting revelation, talk about a good segue, is, um, Taj, in the Jalapo camp, decides to tell everyone that she's married to Eddie George. And of course, the second everyone hears that, they're like, oh, she needs to go because she already has the money. Well, you don't, oh, Taj, you never ever tell people that you have money. I mean, go back to Africa where, I don't even remember, the dentist was like, yeah, you know, I drive a Porsche. And they're all like, goodbye, dentist. So like, don't reveal things like that, at least not right away, because it just, it's sore on people. People don't like to hear when other people have money if they're playing for money. So just future Survivor contestants, if you're rich, don't tell them you're rich. Got it? <laughs> but yeah. So then they had their big challenge. It was exciting. It was one of the ones, they always have the ones where they wrestle and stuff. Probably give viewers, I don't know. Et cetera, et cetera. Fast forward. Jalapo wins. And then here's the hitch. It's immunity and it's um, reward. So Jalapo wins whatever, fishing stuff. But then... Jalapo gets to pick one person from Timbira to go to exile. Yay, exile! I love exile. I think it's an awesome idea that they had to spice things up. So then, like Micronesia, the person who gets selected to go to exile gets to pick someone from the other tribe to come with them. So there's two people at exile, which I think is a really interesting concept. And um, so Brendan gets chosen. Here pops up again, Brendan. Um, gets chosen from the Timbira tribe to go, and he chooses Taj to go with him which was really lucky for Taj, I guess, because of her unfortunate revelation that she had. So they go off to Exile, and there's a few hitches with Exile this season, which I think are going to be awesome. Like, I'm so stoked. I hope they play out. 
The first being that if you go to exile, you don't have to return to your tribe. You can go to the other tribe, so you can mutiny, which they've never really, I mean, they had that one mutiny with, what was it, Cook Islands with Jonathan and the other girl switched, but they haven't had, like, mutiny ever. And I think it's such a good idea that you can just, like, up and choose to go to another tribe. Because in real life, I mean, you, you can switch tribes, you can switch nationalities, whatever. So I think that could be really awesome, especially because they're bringing two people in, one from each tribe, you know, and then you can forge secret alliances, do all this crazy stuff, and then switch tribes, and then flip numbers, and oh my god, I'm so excited. I hope, I hope, 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 at least once, that someone mutinies and it just flips the game over because it could be, it could make Survivor. It could bring it into ten more episodes, ten more seasons, because it could totally make a new game. So I'm really excited about this mutiny idea. The other smaller thing is that they find out only, they each pick a note, and there's, so there's two notes, and only one of them has the clue on it. And so it's up to that person if they want to share the information or not. And the first clue says, oh, the idol is at your camp, not at exile, which is useless for these two then. They're just hanging out or whatever. But they kind of agree, you know, we'll look out for each other because... You know, we're in different tribes, and but if we see each other at the merge or if there's a switch, you know, we, we'll look out for each other. So I thought that was really interesting. And um, it was kind of the theme of this episode was kind of showing some interesting interactions. I mentioned Sierra and Brendan and then Taj and Brendan. Another one that came up that was very interesting to me was JT and Steven in the Jalapo tribe. Um, JT being the cattle rancher and Steven being the um, New York City... I don't know what he does, but he's very uptight seeming. So it was interesting to see, you know, a laid back southern guy and a city guy um, interacting, kind of being friends. And I think it's because JT thinks Stephen's funny because he doesn't know how to do anything and it entertains him. And I think JT probably likes to teach and to have a willing student interests him too. But that could be very interesting. I don't know if it'll become an alliance or if it'll become one person playing another person, but I think that interaction could become really interesting. Um, particularly with who's on that tribe and just the the guys are all really strong. I mean, the whole season all the guys are really strong. But to see kind of one of the weak, probably weaker guys with one of the stronger guys already is very interesting and could play out very interesting too. Um, so we get to the vote. Um, like I mentioned before, there was this tension between Candace and Coach. And Candace was swinging. They were all agreed, let's vote for Sierra. She was the weakest. She looks awful. And she does. That girl just needs to go home. She looks depressed. She looks sick. She looks like she doesn't want to be there. I mean, she was recruited, I think. So she's not even, like, a big Survivor fan anyway, necessarily. So yeah. So there's Sierra. They're all like, okay, we'll vote for Sierra, whatever. But then Candace is like, but man, this coach guy is annoying. I don't want to deal with him. So she starts trying to angle it to get coach off. But then Coach finds out, and she's, he's like, he goes to Sierra, and he's like, I will not vote for you if you vote with me to get Candace out of here. So it's a Coach versus Candace kind of deal. So then you've got to kind of sit back and wait, like, what's the tribe going to do? Are they going to just continue with the Sierra plan? Or are they going to jump into this Coach versus Candace? And in the end, Candace gets blindsided and voted out, and she was sure that either Coach was going or Sierra was going, but not her. So that was interesting. That this already two episodes and two blindsides. But to see Candace, who was a pretty strong girl, like she's a, I mean, she was definitely a little more like Hollywood, like I can't even explain what I'm thinking of, um, superficial, I guess, in terms of what she wanted and who, like what she was, but not really an outdoors girl, that's it. Um, but she, I mean, she was very physical in the challenge and stuff. So to see her gone really shows that Coach is going to be powerful. He's got away with some of the girls and how he was talking with, especially Sierra. He had her wrapped around his finger. Debbie, too. And then the guys respect him at this point. So it's interesting to see that he's got a, a lot of power in this tribe already. And he's not the most interesting guy. And he, I mean, well, no, he's interesting. He doesn't seem like the one you'd want to follow. You want to get rid of him. So that was really interesting. Um, so, yeah, next week it looks like more challenges. More Taj stuff, which looks great. I think she's going to be really interesting. So yeah, I'm running out of time. I hope you guys have a good week or a short week now because it's already Monday. And I will see you this weekend. Bye!